we're just okay. going to be talking about tack strips and uh, this one was installed upside down and I've just uh, taken it out. Um, a lot of uh, installers uh, when they're uh, doing jobs on site on uh, a big project where there's 50 to 100 to 250 homes, you're just basically getting the lowest bidder contractor. And here's another example right here. I haven't lifted up these steps yet. Let's see what we have underneath here. Obviously this is stapled and I got a funny feeling it's upside down also because just the way it came up and there you go, sure enough. I got a funny feeling this one is too because it sort of looks loose <coughs> and sure enough that one is as well. Now those tack strips are supposed to be installed the other way and nailed down properly so that you can stretch the carpet to it properly. That's part of the problem with a lot of the new homes today. The installers are not uh, installing the tack strips properly. So, for instance, this one is the right way, but uh, as you can see, well, they've got a little staple here holding it, but as you can see, it's, it's not nailed in properly at all. And probably this side, I think we're good, but yeah, <coughs> that's in uh, uh, the proper way. Uh, you've got a couple of nails, and it still should be held properly. It's... On a piece like this, there should be at least three nails, one on each end and one smack in the middle. That's it, signing out.